Euphorbia abdelkuri is a fascinating, unique and one of the most coveted plant species within the large and diverse Euphorbia genus. It is a rare succulent shrub with a distinctive wax-like appearance. It typically grows upright, forming densely branched candelabra-like clumps reaching up to one meter in height. The plant is known for its thick, columnar stems that are greyish green to bluish green in colour. These stems are ribbed with yellow grooves and lack thorns, which is unusual for many members of the Euphorbia genus. Euphorbia abdelkuri is endemic to Abd al Khuri, an island in the Socotra archipelago, located in the Arabian Sea near Yemen. The island's harsh, arid climate has shaped the plant's adaptation to survive with minimal water. It grows in rocky, limestone rich soils, often on steep cliffs and hillsides where water is scarce and sunlight is intense. The plant is well adapted to intense sunlight, which is a common condition in its native habitat. While it is often considered a difficult euphorbia species to grow well, and is often seen grafted, if given the right soil and conditions it will grow perfectly well on its own roots and thrive in cultivation. It prefers well draining, sandy or rocky soils. Adding limestone to the soil is also recommended. It requires full sun to partial shade, and should be protected from frost, as it is not cold hardy. Like many succulents, it should be watered sparingly. Overwatering can lead to root rot, so it's important to allow the soil to dry up completely between waterings. The plant can be propagated from seeds or cuttings, though propagation by seeds is relatively rare due to the plant's slow growth, difficulty of obtaining seeds and its reluctancy to flower. Like many members of the Euphorbia genus, Euphorbia abdel curry contains a milky latex sap that is viciously acrid and highly toxic. Interestingly, it is the only known Euphorbia to have yellow sap rather than white. There are no known varieties or subspecies of this plant, although a cultivated variety called Damask exists. This cultivar differs from the standard abdel curry with its pinkish red body colour, varying in intensity with light levels. This cultivar appeared in 1999 on an otherwise typical grey plant. Due to its limited distribution and specialised habitat, Euphorbia abdel curry is considered vulnerable in the wild. In 1967 it was reduced to only four known clumps. The reason for its decline are obscure. Livestock do not touch it since it is toxic, although its survival is threatened by habitat destruction and illegal collection by plant enthusiasts. In summary, Euphorbia abdel curry is a rare and distinctive succulent. Its unique adaptation to harsh, arid conditions makes it a fascinating plant both in the wild and in cultivation. However, its rarity and vulnerability in the wild highlight the need for careful conservation and sustainable cultivation practices. Music